Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to be explaining cruise control and more specifically the mechanical components that are involved with allowing cruise control to work. Um, and then I'll also go over the logic that the ECU uses to manipulate cruise control. So, what we've got going on here is the throttle body connected with a cable to an actuator. Now, if you haven't watched my video on gas pedals, that's a great place to start uh, to understand how the throttle body works. So, connected to the throttle body, which is connected to the butterfly valve within the throttle body, is a throttle linkage. Now, with cars with cruise control, there may be two cables connected to the throttle linkage. One of which is the gas pedal cable, and so I have a video explaining that, and the other is this cruise control cable. Now, you don't have to have two cables, which I'll show later, but this is one way of doing it. So you've got this cruise control cable, which is connected to an actuator. It does not have to be this specific type of actuator. It could be a, a different type, um, but here I'm just using a vacuum actuator, which was common in older cars that use cruise control. So how this vacuum actuator works is you've got a vacuum on one side, this piston basically in the middle, or it could be some sort of diaphragm that could flex, and then this side is open to the atmosphere. So obviously if you have a vacuum in here and atmospheric pressure on here, it's going to push it this way. So you can control the vacuum using a valve that can manipulate between atmospheric pressure and intake uh, manifold. So that's where you're going to get your vacuum from. Or you could have a pump even creating that vacuum. So you're going to manipulate a vacuum and have atmospheric pressure on one side. So the ECU is what's going to be manipulating this valve to control which direction this goes and that will pull on this cable. So let's look at the logic that the ECU uses. So the user is going to set a speed, you're just going to push a button uh, probably on your steering wheel to set a speed and then you're going to have a speed sensor. That speed sensor is going to be reading the speed of your car. So then that speed sensor is going to compare with your program speed and say are we above the set speed? If you are above the set speed, then you'll decrease the vacuum in here. By decreasing the vacuum in here, this throttle cable is going to move to the left, and that's going to release, uh, it's going to lower the amount of opening of this throttle body. So you're going to have less air coming in, less fuel. So you'll slow down. If you're not above the set speed, it will say, okay, well, am I below the set speed? So it checks and says, okay, yes, we are below the set speed. We want to be going faster. So what the, the EC will do is manipulate this valve and increase the vacuum in here. By increasing the vacuum, it's going to pull the cable to the right. And by pulling the cable to the right, it's going to open up that butterfly valve more. So when the butterfly valve is open more, you'll have more air going in, more fuel will go in, and the car will accelerate. And then it will check itself again to make sure it's set to that program speed. So that's just the logic that's going to go on. Uh, and now let's take a look at my car and see how my cruise control works. It's a little bit different of a system, but the ideas are all basically there, and uh, we'll take a look at that. Cruise control on my vehicle works a little differently. As you can see, there are not two wires connected to the butterfly valve for the throttle, so we've just got the one for the gas pedal, which is controlled by a separate actuator, which is housed right here. So as you can see, this actuator has a cable which runs into there and then it disappears. So we'll look where the gas pedal is. So what that actuator is controlling is that cable there and that connects to this lever. So as it, if it were to pull in, as I do here, you can see that the gas pedal is pushed in, which pulls on the throttle. 